Hello friends, our research led us to an accepted scientific publication and reference on PubMed as well as on Encyclopedia. Cancer Metabolism, Fasting Reset, The Keto Paradox and Drugs for Undoing. So our research leads to an upgrade of the protocol. Above all, I would like to thank our whole team who helped save my life. He taught me that cancer is a metabolic disease and not some genetic mutation that I could do nothing about. Here's what I eat and drink, whether during prolonged fasting or during intermittent fasting. Essential number one. My magic potion. I would recommend drinking at least 2.5 liters of water per day. Add this to one of those 2.5 liters. One green tea is powdered matcha. Two turmeric powder. Three ginger powder. Four cinnamon powder. Five black pepper or cayenne pepper. Essential number two. Garlic. I take as much of it as I can and take it in all possible forms and in pills of course. Essential number three. Metabolic treatment. Lipoic acid 3x per day. Garcinia Cambogia 3x per day. CoQ10, 303x per day. Essential number 4. DHA and EPA are powerful omega-3 which have significant effects on the reduction of ROS and the activation of AMPK and or the reduction or rather the inhibition of scot oxct one and thiolase ACAT1. Take DHA with EPA 250 mg daily. Essential number 5. Scott inhibitor OXCT1 of which we are still looking for the best one. But the two on the natural tracks are melatonin and lithothamnium, knowing that the original is a drug called lithostat or the Spanish Euronfrex. But now, all this is not enough, there are many other things that I have done that are not part of the five essentials which are only nutrients. This does not mean that we should neglect the following protocols which have contributed to my healing. We have to do our fast, two types of fasting from time to time, what is called prolonged fasting. Prolonged fasting and at this time it is minimum 3 days 72 hours not 71 but you can do 5 days 10 days 20 days 45 days as I did depending on the severity of your cancer. Autophagy is the fastest way to curb cancer and fix itself, but it's probably not enough to cure yourself. Every day I do OMAD, only one meal a day and I eat. Tons of vegetables, mainly cruciferous vegetables. Also, I eat protein eggs, small fish, sardines, grass-fed and grass-finished meat, but not so often. Very important is anti-inflammatory food and to have my urine pH alkaline, I took my baking soda twice a day with cider vinegar or lemon at the same time. Why? If I take baking soda alone, my stomach will create acid and this way vinegar or lemon becomes pH 9 after metabolization. Cancer does not like an alkaline environment. Here and the last point and not the least important is the mindset, our state of mind so do not believe what the statistics tell us or what the oncologists tell us. Very often it's over for you, put your affairs in order, enjoy the moments you have left, etc etc that's what I was told. I had cancer, I had three months to live, stage 4 terminal stage with metastases in the bones and the lymph nodes, in the side of the lung and so on. I was screwed to the point that I was told that chemotherapy was useless in my case. There was nothing more to do and I'm still here four years later, so I thank the help you give me every day, the way you help me, the way you support me. Thank you and I'm trying to return the favor by saving you, you cancer patient. I always remind that I am not a doctor, I spread, I divulge, what saved me from cancer and do not do it and do not copy me without your oncologist knowing and accepting what I say because, of course. If you are doing chemotherapies and radiotherapies which can be extremely oxidizing, there is no point in taking antioxidants alongside them. This is the effect of one cancelling the effects of the other. Thank you, friends. I wish you a great day. Bye.